This is the Eufy S330 Smart Video Door Lock. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at another Eufy product. This is the S330 Smart Video Door Lock. It's not just a door lock with a video camera in it, but it also has more features than just that. Now, there are some things I really like about this, and there are some things that uh, wasn't that great, and they have to improve on it, but... I'll let you decide if this is for you or if you're going to decide on something else. So there is a price on this and it's $400. It's kind of a steep price, but most door locks out there are anywhere from $200 or $150 to the $400, $500 price range. And considering the fact that this comes with multiple things like you got the fingerprint scanner, the keypad, the doorbell, and the video camera on it, and it's 2K video camera the $400 kind of warrants its price. Now, if this is something that you're interested in purchasing or wanting to read more about, I will leave a link in the description below so you can check out current pricing, as well as there'll be more information for you to read about this if I have left anything out. So in most of my videos, I do quite a few things. I go over kind of the features that you're gonna get with the product. Then I also go through what's in the box, kind of show you what you get with the product. And since this has a security camera on it, we're gonna go over the quality of the video during the daytime quality of the video done in the nighttime with infrared, and then also the audio quality. That way we can decide if this is something that is for you. So let's get started with the features and the looks of this thing. Now, I will say that the looks of this thing is pretty good. I think this is one of the most elegant looking smart locks I've seen out there. Now this thing comes with a rechargeable battery. You don't have to actually use AA batteries that you have to replace all the time, kind of like my Schlage. It is a 10,000 milliamp size battery. It does recharge off of, by plugging in a micro, or actually not micro USB, they did it right. They put USB-C on this. So you gotta remove the battery and then you can charge it up. It's 10,000 milliamp and that will last you quite a long time. And that's something that you're gonna need with the 2K camera because we all know the higher you get up in resolution, the more power it's gonna take to power the camera as well as all the other different features that the store lock has. Now like all the other UFI products out there, there are no storage fees that you have to purchase. Now I say have to, you can buy the cloud subscription if you want to, but you don't have to buy that at all. They allow you to keep all your data at home on an SD card. It comes with a little hub that you plug into the wall nearby. Now the unit itself will uh, be sending a Bluetooth signal to the hub and the hub sends a Wi-Fi signal to your router. And that way that allows you to connect it to the internet. Now the little hub looks really nice because it's a little gray box with it does have two rabbit ears on it i get it not a big deal but it does have a nice mesh grill on it for the speaker and it looks really nice plugged into the wall nearby now it does have a little sd card slot for local storage and you can go up to 256 gigs of storage that's quite a bit of storage for video recordings i will put what that is in different gigabytes i recommend going up to at least get 128 gig if anything 64 i will show you kind of right here what that is as far as how much footage you're going to get uh be able to store on that sd card with 2k footage so if we look at the lock and go through the feature from the top to the bottom at the very top you have a fingerprint scanner now that you're going to be able to use any fingerprints you have on your fingers to unlock the store lock not at least your toes i'm not sure probably not i don't know why you would do that but let's just stick to the fingers here you're going to be able to use your finger to unlock the door. Now going down to, to the keypad, you're going to be able to allow someone to unlock the door with a passcode on the keypad. You can set one for individual specific people. You can set one that's just a master one. Whatever you want to do, you can set multiple codes out there and put them on a schedule. We'll talk about that when we get to the app. But you can type in a code and unlock the door with that. It does have a doorbell button, so that's kind of cool. Uh, most houses have doorbells, but it does have a doorbell button which will also ring inside the house on the hub. You can also have Alexa tell you that someone's at the door by when they press on the doorbell too. That's kind of cool. And it alerts your phone. Behind the doorbell button, there is a regular style key. So, or at least a key, or a key insert. So that way you can use an actual physical key to unlock your door. We didn't get rid of that. They, or I'm sorry, we, you if you didn't get rid of that feature because as a fail safe, if the if the battery's dead, you can use a key if you need to get in. So now that we talked about the features that you're going to get with this product, let's go ahead and look at the box and see what's inside. So on the box, you got the Eufy Security by Anchor. Video smart lock with remote unlocking and 2K view. Free, no monthly fees. And you kind of get a look of what it looks like. You got 
Um, you got the base station here as well as the lock and the back side of the lock. 2K resolution, 0.3 seconds recognition for the fingerprint on the top here. 2K door belt integration, again, 0.3 seconds, and family recognition. Video is smart lock. All right, so I have laid out everything that you get with this. So you've got the deadbolt, keys, bolts for mounting this and mounting that. You got the striker plate and the mounting striker plate screws. The battery upside down. You've got the hub here, which has the United States plug-in right here. And that connects to here. I think they do that so they can put uh, the European plug. Underneath the arm here, you've got the power. Well, it looks like you can charge something with it. And then you also have the micro SD card slot right here for storage. You got a speaker back here. Looks like a nice grill right there. And you got a sync button at the very top here. And then you have the back plate here where the battery goes in behind this plate. You've got the physical lock here. And a nice rubber. This is a really built really well. It's got a nice rubber backing here that will be against the door so it doesn't scuff it up. It's really heavy duty there. Then you have the fingerprint, video, lock, doorbell, whatever you want to name it. But you got the video camera right there. The thumb fingerprint right at the top, the keypad right here, the doorbell, which is also incorporated into, trying to get it open here, the actual physical lock. So that's kind of cool that the button, oops, that the actual button for the doorbell is incorporated right into that lock. And this is very heavy duty, very nicely built. And then you got the back here, so you have rubber pad right here, so that way when it mounts to the door, it doesn't scuff it up. You have electronics here, and then the signal for the doorbell, or not the doorbell, but the video camera that all plugs into this. Now that you've seen what's inside the box, let's go ahead and, and do all of the videos of the quality during the day, quality during the nighttime, the audio quality you're going to hear. Here's the quality in the video and the audio from the brand one USB security door lock. This is what you're going to get during the day, as well as the audio quality. This is the quality of the brain one video door lock at nighttime with the infrared and the audio quality that you're going to hear from it. Here's the video quality during nighttime with infrared, but I also have my exterior light on. So this is going to allow you to see a little bit more. So now let's go to the app. I want to show you around the app real quick. Going to do a quick run through of it. Kind of some of the features that you get in the app. And then we'll talk about my final thoughts. All right. So in the app right now, this is the last staff shot it took of my front door or a little kind of what it had. You can see the Wi-Fi connection right now and the signal. And I can hit play right now, and it will play a live view. And there's a lock down there. It says locked with my battery. And it, I can hold on to the lock, and it will unlock my door. Same thing goes. I can hold it, and then it will unlock it if you want to. So it's going to click the three dots here. And let's go to the settings. And so we get a motion detection. And this allows us to set up motion detection for human only or all motion. I recommend human only. That's all I wanted. Um, and then how far away does it alert me from you can go to advanced or standard you can go from three feet six feet 10 feet 15 20 feet uh loitering detection if someone's standing there with a certain distance for a certain long amount of time it'll let you know that someone's just standing there and you can also make it say something like please leave the house or i'm gonna call the police whatever you want to do leaving detection you can tell you can get alerted when someone's uh trigger the motion alert as well as once on leave so that way you know if someone left without actually getting into the app uh, activity zones, which are really nice. This allows you to set up the activity zones. Uh, oops, I got my door closed on it. But this allows you to set up activity zones. That way, if there's a certain area that always get in motion and it's triggering for whatever reason, you can block that out if you want to. Uh, quick response. This allows you to press on things saying, hey, thanks, leave the package on the door. I'll get it in a little bit. Just those type of quick responses you want on there. Power management, this allows you to look and see what percentage battery life is left. 
how many detections or motion detections on the last time we charged it. Uh, and then you can also optimize the battery life on, do you want high quality video? Do you want it to record 60 seconds? All that type of stuff. Auto lock allows us to auto lock the door based off of one second, three, all the way up to three minutes or on a schedule if you want. Auto lock the door at 10 p.m. or whatever, you name it. I don't suggest auto locking for after a certain amount of seconds or minutes because if the door's open, it doesn't know if the door's open or closed. It'll automatically just lock it. And if the door's open, that's when you have kids and they slam the door even though the lock's on. One touch locking, this allows you to hit the lock button and it'll automatically lock the door when you shut the door from, you know, if you go in from inside to outside, obviously. Wrong try protection. So you can make it so if you enter or someone enters the wrong uh, code in multiple times you know, or tries a fingerprint, it'll automatically just lock everybody out and will allow you to do it. Scramble passcode allows you to up to 12 characters or numbers. I shouldn't say characters, numbers. I can, if I have a four digit passcode, I can type in uh, multiple numbers at the front and multiple numbers at the back. That way, if someone's behind you, you can type in a bunch of different uh, numbers in there. As long as the code that you have in there is punched in in order that it, the code is there. So if your code is 2314, you can go in there and punch in 12452314 and it'll automatically unlock because I put in the code in order. Video settings allows you to update the video settings, uh, HD, 2K, whatever you need. Night vision, you can optimize night vision if you need to. Audio settings allows you to set up the auto settings and the thing does talk to you. So you can set up the volume notifications allows you to motion detection, doorbell ring, unlock, unlock. And you can also get a thumbnail if there's motion that goes on to your, to your phone. Indoor chime, you can set up the chime to say whatever. You can have a different tone. Uh, lock calibration, this calibrates the lock. And then general allows you to talk about the storage and format and that type of stuff. Share device allows you to share the device, share the lock to somebody else because you can unlock the lock through your phone and share your thoughts to UV and remove. And that is the app. And it's pretty, uh, there's a lot, a lot more that goes into it, but that was the skim of it. So my final thoughts on this, uh, I think the video quality is pretty good. I said that in one breath because I think it's pretty good during the daytime. Now my door is underneath, I get an easement, kind of a porch area. So it's kind of shaded. So when, when you're further away in the sun, you could, it's kind of, it's kind of a little bit dark. It looks like, uh, at least my, my body was a little bit dark. My face was a little bit darker than normal, just because the fact that it's looking through a shadow, uh, shadow area and focusing on a bright sunlight area. I can't remember what that's called now off the top of my head. I don't, uh, their feature that they, they're lacking on that and they need to update that and, and get that feature on there that allow you to focus on the person itself and brighten up the picture on the subject that you're using. Now, the video quality at nighttime, I'm not sure. It's it As you can see, it took a while for it to see me uh, or at least show me up because it's the infrared, the door lock is inset or at least the door is inset in my in the framing area, just like everybody else's door and the door lock, or at least the infrared kind of hits that, that frame of the door and doesn't allow for it to really work on the subject that's coming up. Uh, so I think what I've seen with other videos, everybody else is having the same issue on this. So just beware on this, on this, you're not going to see far distance away with infrared. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to fix that some way somewhere in the future via software or firmware. But that's something to keep in mind. Uh, the audio quality is really good. Uh, so that's, that's something that's really impressed, impresses me on that. So if you can get past the night vision on this, um, I think this is a really good product. If you're looking for a door lock that has a fingerprint scanner, a passcode, or keypad, and maybe you need a security camera. Now, I don't nearly necessarily need one because I have a video doorbell. But the fact that this one comes with one, that's really nice. Um, but it also comes with a doorbell. So if you don't have a doorbell or a video camera for that, it comes with all those features. $400 is not too bad when you look at all the features it comes with, as well as how nice it is and easy it is to use. If this video helped you out in any way, please leave me a like. Now, if you have any questions or comments about this, I'd love to help you and I'd love to talk with you. Go ahead and leave them out in the comment section below. 
If this is your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing. And then also I'm gonna leave two videos up and please consider checking them out. And for now, I will see you next time.